Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to update Kodi on your Amazon Fire TV without a computer. Without further ado, let's get started. First thing you want to do is head down to Settings, then Applications, Manage All Installed Applications, and Locate Kodi. You want to make sure you already have Kodi installed and that there is a new update available. For example, in this video, I'll be updating from 14.0 to 14.1. It doesn't make sense to install the same version you already have, so make sure that there is a new update available, and I'll be showing you guys that in the process. So after you've made sure, you want to go back and go to System, scroll down to Developer Options, and make sure these two options are enabled or on. After you've made sure, you can go all the way back and now you want to go to search, hit text search and type in file manager. Select file manager and now you will get these three results. The one we are looking for is the first one. So select it. And now right where you see download, yours would say buy for 199 coins, which is equivalent to $2. You want to go ahead and buy it or download it if you already have it. And just wait for it to install. After it has installed, you just want to leave it alone for now. We will be referring back to it in a few minutes. So now you want to go inside of Kodi head over to system file manager and select add source here you want to type in exactly what you see on the screen so select where it says none and type in the following URL. After that, select Done. Then select the second field of text and type in the name, which is Super Repo. Then select Done. Select OK. If you already have Super Repo installed, you don't need to worry about adding it again. Just disregard that last step. After you have added Super Repo, go back. Select Settings, scroll down to Add-ons, select Install from zip file, select Super Repo, select the current version you have. If you are on Kodi, that would be Helix. Anything older than Kodi is either Gotham or Frodo. Now select All, select Download this repo, and wait until you see Add-on Enabled. Now you want to go to Get Add-ons and select Super Repo. You may have to back out and open it again a few times for it to show the following list. But once you have this list, go down to Program Add-ons. And you want to look for Maintenance Tool. Select it. Select Install, and wait until you see Add-on Enabled again. In the process, it will install a couple requirements for it to work, so just be patient and you should see Add-on Enabled pretty soon. There you go, that's the one we are looking for, Maintenance Tool, Add-on Enabled. So now you want to head all the way back and select Programs, select Program Add-ons, Highlight Maintenance Tool and press the button with the three lines on your remote. That is considered the Menu button. So press that. Select Add-on Information. Go up to Configure. Select it. And now you want to head down to XBMC Download Path. Select it. Select External Storage. Select Download. 
So make sure you are inside the download folder. There shouldn't be anything inside. That's how you know you are in the correct path. After that, scroll right and select OK. And make sure right next to XBMC download path, yours matches mine's. After that, select OK. And then you can go ahead and launch maintenance tool. Select continue if this is the first time you are opening maintenance tool. Select OK. And we are now inside. Next, you have to go to download XBMC. Select stable. Select Android. And you want to select the ARM version. Now go ahead and go through the list and see if there are any new updates. Like I said, I will be updating from 14.0 to 14.1. Although there is 14.2, that is currently a beta version. So you want to stay away from betas and just download a stable release. You'll know if it's stable if it doesn't say beta. So now just select the file you want to download and wait until it finishes. This may take a while depending on your internet connection, but thanks to the magic of video editing, we are now done. After you have downloaded the necessary file, you want to head all the way back and exit Kodi. If you don't exit out of Kodi, just select force stop, but you want to make sure it's closed completely. Now you want to head back to that app I talked about earlier, file manager, open it, select download and select the APK file. And right there, it'll ask you if you want to install an update, which is good because we don't want to lose any data. So if you get this, you are on the right page. Now just select install and wait for it to finish. After it has installed, you can go ahead and click done and head all the way back and make sure that the update has been successful. And as you can see, we are now at 14.1. We can open it, make sure everything works. And that's about it. Last but not least, before I end this video, make sure you go back to developer options. And this time you want to disable those two options. After you have disabled them, you can go back to file manager and you want to press and hold the center button on your remote until you get this, select delete file, select delete, and you are done. Basically, this is to free up memory on your device. And that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe for more content. And I'll see you guys in the next video.